Hi guys, I want to show you something else you can do with a very cool new bevel tag maker. As you know, you can make, I can pick it up, one inch, two inch, and two and a half inch tags. And I showed you that other border you can make, but look at this border. This is done with the emerald gemstone paper and dark green cardstock. Now you could just put it against it like this by itself, but I really like it with a piece of cardstock with it. It sets it off and I like it better with the cardstock on top of it as opposed to like that. When you put it under, it appears to be growing from under. Now to do this border, you really don't want a plain paper. Stripes lend themselves really good to this because they're flowing across the page. And I'm gonna show you a mistake I made on the first one and explain why and then show you the right way to do it. Notice how on this one, the ends are not even. They don't end up even, but on this one, they do. So when you use your tag maker to make this, first of all, orient your paper so your punch is tra your paper's traveling towards the punch. All right, so we've got the two and a half, the two inch and the one inch line. We're gonna put the paper in at the two inch line. So for the first piece, you can set it down so you can see it. Get it all the way to the back and make sure it's right on the two inch line. So it's in and punch. This is the last time you do it this way. Now, Roll it over, because you have to be able to see. Now, see how the paper is all the way to the back of the punch? And see where the edge of the die is right there? We're going to put our open spot right next, right about where that die is. Now, you're gonna roll it back over and punch because you don't want the little pieces to get stuck in there and cause all sorts of problems because they would fall right through. And just keep pulling it through. And once you do the first one done, it stays really, really easy. Now, if your punch is a little more stubborn than mine, just set it down on the table and punch. But mine punches super easy. By the way, there's a new pumpkin vine punch. No, not pumpkin. It's a flower vine punch. Very cool. That is available to order now. As is the ghost border maker in all the Halloween papers. Okay, look at that. Done. Now, I didn't look at how much time it took, but I don't think it was five minutes. And it gives you an awesome border. Isn't that cool? So, that's it for Tool Tap Tuesday, and we'll talk to you all tomorrow.